Hello, Collective. Actually, yeah, I need to turn the lights on for y'all because I actually give a fuck. Well, I, I mean, I give a fuck before, but, well, I don't know. Let me just keep sticking my, my foot in my mouth because that's exactly what I'm good at. Well, penises too, but just my husband's. But other than that, hello. So, I'm going to try to do love readings. I'm going to try starting with this one, right? I've never really done them because it's like I'm a Capricorn. So I never really thought about how that'll come up. I'll still do the randos on occasion. Well, usually, like, those are the dailies or whatever. Just, you know, knowing what fuck fuck games are going on around you. <laughs> or who's reading for what, right? This, I guess, is love or whatever. You know, some of y'all are thirsty for it. Looking for that nurturing, right? Some of y'all turn bitter from it because people are suck. But that's understandable. But let's see what we can find of love. This is for all signs. Right? So what kind of love can we find, everyone? What's up for love? Wishes being granted with the Nine of Cups. A want and wish right here could be Leo for some of you. But it's like someone feels incomplete and they want to be completed. The fears and rejections is that is that something will not die or someone won't let things die or someone won't change their ways. Scorpio, possibly. Um, now, the situation right here is like someone's trying to see what they can get out of shit. Go into a dead tree and trying to revitalize it with the Seven of Pentacles. The obstacle and challenge right here is someone trying to move on with the Six of Cups. Swords. I almost said cups. Jesus. Same difference, though, in a, re in a sense, anyway. Um, let's see. It's like you have the option of moving to calmer waters, or you have the option of still being unhappy because you're separated. Then we got the Emperor reversed right here. Someone possibly just being really hard-headed and stubborn. With the beginning theme being the fool. Being scared to take that leap of faith. Maybe someone's just being too hard-headed to, like, really appreciate it, you know? Or maybe someone's just being stubborn and is too scared to actually deal with that shit, right? Could be possible. It seems like some of you are wanting to try to revitalize this. Because you don't like being separated, but at the same time, it's kind of like you're like, meh. Or this person just takes you for granted way too easily. Could be Aries. You know. Um, even the devil's just wondering, like, you guys want advice or do you... <laughs> like, do you guys want a hand? Because I'm right here. He's got his hand right up. Like, hello, I might have an answer. And people might be arguing with each other to the point where they separate. You know, it's a crossroads. And you can figure out if you can be victorious in this. Or if the secrets are worth being revealed right now. Because they could become a burden. Now, you could write off and make an offer somewhere. Or you could be waiting for someone to make an offer for you. But there's going to be a lot of passionate arguments and fightings that you have to go through. A lot of scalings and stuff. That might make you feel like you can't get a victory. Or you're just fighting for nothing. For whatever reason, of course. So, let's see. Yeah, here's your emperor running away like that. Could be a dude, right, who's having issues with commitments right now, or feels like he can't commit at this point. Maybe he feels like things won't work out between the two of you because he might have your back turned to him. Or vice versa, whatever the case. But someone is making a wish fulfillment here. This dude might be a little bit heartbroken, right? Someone wants to make a wish with no things. Could be a magician. Oh, Lord. Don't think it's the same magician as the other day. <laughs> oh, Lord. That'd be crazy, right? But someone is making a wish, and they're trying to manifest that wish. Make it come true with the magician. There's even a shooting star in the background. So, yeah, someone is definitely working to manifest this wish the right way. Not to suck on a cucumber magician kind of way <laughs> okay seven of pentacles right you are trying to see what you can create you are probably going to a dead tree and seeing what life you can sap out of it 
But it's like you're kind of opening your eyes a little bit and coming out of that like analyzation after doing so many times and just being like, you know what? I should travel somewhere. Probably to the person who I um want to kind of deal with, but I don't know. Someone who feels a little bit spurned. Maybe you rejected this person at some point before realizing how you actually feel about them, too. That could be possible. Vice versa, of course. The sun now. We have, like, Leo's card. You feel a little bit incomplete without your other half, maybe? Or the person who you're vibing with right now, you feel like, oh, I could be with them even more. This isn't a bad card, though. This isn't, like... Y'all are separated or things aren't working out. It's just like things are a little bit murky. A little bit of rain on the plane, if you will. Things might not just be for the best for you right now. And it's like, you know, you've had a lot of investment in it. And it's like you don't necessarily want to give up. Yeah. You still want it. There's a lot of time and investment put in this. However, um... The obstacle and challenge for you is wanting to drift away. Even though you might feel a little bit trapped in the situation, um, you still feel like you want to drift apart a little bit. Like things might not feel like they're working out completely. Which is, you know, I feel like you kind of like... Now, I think you're looking at the relationship, possibly, whoever this resonates with. If you don't resonate with it, don't worry about it. Like, you're cool. This is a card game, right? But it's like, you are looking at this like, you know, maybe we just don't pair up anymore and that kind of makes me sad. You do want to move on, but it's like, I don't know if I can. Mm. So you're trying to see what you can do about all of this, right? Because you are trying to like, you know, make things work between the two of you. You're trying to wish and wish and wish and you're trying to make things happen. You are manifesting things with the magician, of course. It's just things are just kind of like, oh, right now, right? With a fear of rejection, right, that um, somebody won't change with the, that, with, uh, okay, two seconds. Apparently I need to stop. <laughs> um... It feels like this person doesn't want to change their ways, and I think that's what you're rejecting or you're afraid of. Which is just like, you know, hmm. I'm not sure how to make of that, because this is like counterparts, right? Not doing the divine shit, but I'm just saying. At this point, it's just like they're a couple. And it's like, I feel like someone's, a, like, if this, I feel like this is more for men than this is for women right now. But it feels like, you know, somebody's, like, surprised that, like, someone isn't going to change probably their, um, counterpart right here. Which doesn't look like a bad thing, except for the fact that, like, she's wearing shoes, but that's not a really a big deal. You know? Like, it's just shoes. Like, she's on rocks for fuck's sakes, not on um, jagged rocks. Well, I don't know. That would probably still hurt. Could you imagine if it was, like, blistering in the sun? Can your skin stick to, like, stone if it's hot enough? Or does it just cook like an egg? You know? Like, I have so many questions now. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I'm going to do, um, dual readings. If I'm going to do love readings, you and your person, if that sounds good with you guys. Because I do like the suggestion for love readings. I've just never been into them. But I, I can start. I'm a quick learner. So let's see. Emperor dude right here, right? A little bit miffed that someone just got away. You know, after they decided they were going to try too hard to control them a little bit. So that might have been your problem. You might have went a little bit overboard with being in charge and shit. So now you're just kind of hanging out there, keeping your strength up while you're wondering about whether or not to take a leap of faith or if you should even try to start again. Like, you're not even looking the right direction, honestly. You're about to run into her fucking chair. Um, and that might be the issue, too. You might have, like, um... Well, no, he's wearing red, too. 
Okay, so this is like somebody, this dude in red who was defeated by a dude in ugly yellowish green. Not even yellowish green, like ugly yellow puke color, like kind of like poop green or poop yellow. Like, this person might have messed with this emperor person to make them a really nettled kind of guy. And I think what's happening here is, like, they're trying to preserve their strength. And they're not trying to take a leave of faith, but at some point they're going to run into a new person. Someone who I feel like things don't need to die with. But it's like a fear. It's like, am I ever going to end up with the person I supposed to be met with or is this just going to be a never-ending revolving door for some of y'all I feel like um secretly waiting to make an offer like you'll travel in the dark keep this stuff quiet but for right now you are just silently waiting to make that delivery and be like I can't wait to give this to somebody this offer this heart of mine and it totally like stoke me out right be like yeah Get on my pony. Wait, wait, whoa. Okay, hold on a second. You need to calm down whoever that was. <laughs> whoever that was is just like... Okay, one of the, my um, guides or whatever apparently is a horn dog. I figured that out over this weekend because they got... <laughs> they got, um... Thoughts. They got thoughts. Very naughty thoughts that are just like, dude, whoa. Yeah, when you do finally make this offer that you're waiting to make, it's gonna definitely meld together. And you guys are just gonna be, like, able to commune and, you know, mix it up. It doesn't even have to be, like, complete opposites either. I was gonna pull that over, but you know what? No, I'm not gonna mess with my cards. <laughs> and I did horribly. Okay. Anyway, that's gonna bother me. Oh my god. But yeah, it's gonna be, like, a completion kind of thing. So I guess this is just gonna be... Yeah. Oh, I think I could do love readings, guys. I think I can do that, because eventually you're going to find your queen or king, however you want to look at it. But yeah, I'll totally do love readings for you guys. I think that's a great substitute, actually. Let's replace all the bullshit with some actual happiness. All right, that's the reading I got for us for right now, guys. Actually, hold on. I do want to check. Um, I do want to see. Oh, well, okay. If you won't really be that way. Yeah, you're y'all are leaving behind the bullshit and going to find something to actually fight for. Good deal. I definitely like this way more better than anything else. So. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Um, if you want a personal reading, hit me up in my description box below. It's got all the info you need, as well as, like, the links to the live streams that I use for my videos. You can like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. That is all up to you, my sweets. I will see you guys later, and you take it easy. Bye-bye.